Hi everyone, this is Karen Schaefer, founder of APSD, the Association of Property Scene Designers, the world leader in home staging training and certification. I'm sitting out front of a home that we just completed doing a staging on, and I have to admit, it turned out absolutely charming. This is a middle America home that was built in the late 70s and hasn't had too many upgrades other than just cosmetic upgrades. So you had to think about in the very beginning who your market was. What I decided to do for all of you was go ahead and give you a quick tour of what I did. So whether you're a new home stager that's just starting to go, wow, how do I, how do I effectively stage a home so that I can continue to get good results so I get more jobs, or whether you're an existing home stager and you kind of want to learn new techniques, new strategies to continue to build your business. Um, even if you're an interior designer and you want more interior designer and interior decorator jobs or organizer jobs, or as a real estate agent ready to sell your listings faster, this is a great example of extraordinary staging that costs very little money but really, really updates a home, makes it feel warm, cozy, and inviting, and I promise you, will help it to sell like that. You guys ready to see the inside? Well, come on over. Um, a few things that you should be aware of as you look at a home and you get ready to stage. Of course, as we talk about in APSD, there's the six-step APSD home staging pyramid. Now, for those of you that are already certified through APSD, you're familiar with the six-step pyramid. For those of you who are not, you can learn all about it by visiting APSDmembers.com and getting a free CD right now that'll start you off on your home stager training program and teach you all about the system that I'm talking of. But one of the things in that system talks about defining your customer. And the reason that I want you to be aware of that is I think it's the number one most important thing to understand when you're staging a home. And for instance, this particular home, if we thought, well, we're just staging for anybody, that would be okay, right? But by really understanding who our customer is, knowing that they want to live up in the mountains, knowing that they want a view, now we had to really think about doing some great staging, some great curb appeal. So you can already see behind me that we've set up just some cozy rockers that people can enjoy. There's a small bistro set in the front of the house as well. But if you take a look at what's really important to some people, you'll see that the view is absolutely amazing from this house. And people can sit, whether they're at their bistro set or the front porch, and enjoy a gorgeous view of Pikes Peak. And by starting off and defining our customer, that first step in the six-step APSD home staging pyramid, we know right away that we want to add some great curb appeal so they can enjoy the view. Now let's go ahead on the inside and take a quick look. Now I love this color combination on the outside of the home, by the way. It gives it a great little facelift. And the three colors that we used were called taupe tone. That's the main color. We also use modern gray as the trim. And then finally, a color called raisin as an accent color on the front door and the shutters. It works so nicely together. It's a nice neutral with just a little bit of punch. You ready to come inside and see what we did? Again, remember, this is not a high-end home, so you always have to stage accordingly, which is exactly what we did. A few things that we teach at APSD are that all your medals match, which you can see right here in the front door and the light that they do, and always have a welcome mat for your customer because it seems more inviting as they walk through the front door. And everything we do follows the six-step home staging APSD pyramid and you can take a look throughout the house and see that we've definitely followed all six steps defining our customer locating the anchor creating a foundation and so on and once again you can find all that information on your free CD that you can get right now at APSDmembers.com don't you love this room? I love how all the colors work together, how it feels so cozy and warm and inviting. I just want to jump up on the sofa, grab a good book, and light the fire because that's what this room says to me. And I promise you, it's what it says to your potential buyer as well. 
And think about it from this point of view. Your job as a home stager, again, whether you're an interior designer or decorator, an existing home stager, you're new to the business, you're a real estate agent, the ultimate job of home staging is to sell the house. It's not just to decorate. It's not just about putting a few candles on a plate. It's about making your customer say, wow, I love that home. It's unforgettable, which is completely what happened right here in this room, because I know you'll be thinking about this room for a long, long time. So come on into the kitchen. It's so charming. I know you're going to love it. Now take a look on the wall here, how we really carry this theme from one room into the next room. And remember, in APSD staging, we talk about the four cornerstones of home staging, color, continuity, theme, and flow. The four things that you must have in every single home to make it feel good. That's why we like this little candel candelabra on the wall, because it carries us from one room into the next. Now we have a nice, simple dining room set we purposely didn't set it because I don't think you always have to go way overboard and do every single thing. I think there's strength in simplicity, which is exactly what we focused on in this home. Now I want you to notice from this dining room table, you have a view out the back, which you have a gorgeous big backyard. There's also a great little um, playhouse or storage room out there. In the backyard, you'll see we have um, tree swings, uh, big tires from the limbs because we have those huge ponderosa pines. But also from this dining room set, if you turn around, you can see right from the living room and the dining room through the main picture window, once again, a gorgeous view of Pikes Peak. So we really want to position things in a home so that people can get the greatest benefit out of every single area of the home. Don't you love this cute little hutch? It kind of gives us a nice transition, again, from one room into the next. Now take a look at this kitchen. As I said earlier, it's an older home. It hasn't really been updated. Although the appliances are new, they've added new hardware to the cabinets, but it was our job to come in as home stagers and really make this an inviting kitchen that seemed like a place that a family could come together, prepare a meal easily, and then, of course, enjoy it, which is the idea of the Eden Kitchen. So we've set out a few wonderful yummy, yummy, yummy food items that I keep wanting to like munch a little bit, and yes, they are real. A lot of people ask me about the difference between real food and not real food, and this time, because we're doing an open house showing, I chose to use real food. Now, again, we kept everything fairly simple because we really wanted to have great impact with our scenes, but you can see how everything flows together and we constantly connect the scene. On the left-hand side, you'll see that we actually have a dinner prep in progress with the recipe posted as well. We continue again connecting the scenes from the dinner prep to the stove to the coffee area featuring some great Starbucks coffees. Now, if you bothered to open up all the cabinets and the refrigerator, you would see that they're also staged because you know me, I can't leave any place undone. And that's really the fun part of adding pockets of emotion, which are those defining moments in every home that makes the home unforgettable. And that's your sixth step of the APSD home staging pyramid. Once again, don't forget to go to APSDmembers.com right now and get your free CD. Mm -hmm.